Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create image file from a bootable disk or a data disk. So step one is you have to download and install image one free software. Just search with the keyword IMG burn download and click on the first link. Once you click on it, you will find a download tab with seven download mirror links. You can click any of the link and just keep the file to start downloading the setup file. Now wait for a while to complete the downloading. Once the file is downloaded, you can just simply right click on it and run as administrator. Now you will find the setup wizard. Just follow the instructions step by step to complete the installation process. So I am just clicking on the next, next, next as usual and wait for a while to complete the installation process. Once it is completed, click on the finish button. Now image burn icon appear on the desktop. Step two, insert bootable or data DVD CD in DVD drive. So I have already inserted Windows 10 bootable DVD in the DVD drive to convert it into the image file. Step three, create image file using image burn free software. So double click on the image burn icon on the desktop now here you will see so many options first is write image file to disk write file folder to disk create image file from the disk create image file from the file folder verify disk and discovery so i am going to click on create image file from the disk here source is the dvd writer in which you have placed your dvd and destination is the location where your image file will be stored after the operation so just click on the create image file icon and wait for a while to complete the whole process. In my case, the destination location is F drive. The image will be stored in the F drive after the successful completion of the process. This process takes five to 10 minutes to complete. So you have to wait till the completion. I have increased the clip speed to quickly show the progress. So once it is completed, you will see the message appear on the screen. The operation successfully completed. Just click on the OK button. Now I will show you the image file that we have created in the F drive. Here is the image file that we have created using ImageBurn software. So that's it for today. Thanks and have a nice day.